Hello, I'm Evgeny Yeliseev, a teacher of Russian language from RussianofTheRussian.com. We start a conversation about Russian groups, and in this lesson I will tell you about the structure of the Russian group system. I remind that groups are rules that express actions, processes, or states. For example, to make, to know, to live, to die. These are groups. Normally, Russian groups in the infinitive form end with t. Быть, хотеть, любить, думать. Some verbs end with t or ch. For example, нести, to carry, much, can, may. But the majority of Russian verbs use the ending t in the infinitive form. One of the features of Russian verb system is that Russian verbs don't have so many verb tenses as English verbs. For example, we have only one form of the present tense, one form of the past tense, only two forms of the future tense, and one form of the subjunctive mood. Meanwhile, in order to distinguish a simple fact, a repeated action or reprocess from the completed action or result, we use different verbs. Some Russian verbs are imperfective, other ones are perfective. The sentence «я писал письмо» doesn't mean that the letter has been written completely. It just specifies a simple fact that I wrote a letter in the past. Or the sentence may specify a process – I was writing a letter in some particular moment in the past. But if I want to say that the letter has been written completely, I should use the perfective verb написать – я написал письмо. So, Russian language learners have to memorize two verbs for any action – the imperfective one and the perfective one. It may seem difficult in the beginning, but actually, in the majority of cases, these verbs are similar to each other, and there are some rules or regularities that can help us to obtain the perfective verb from the imperfective one and vice versa. Also, we have two forms of the imperative mood. For example, give me please may be translated into Russian as дай мне пожалуйста or дайте мне пожалуйста. The first one, дай, is used when we address the person as ты. The second one, дайте, is used as a polite form for addressing several people. Besides that, uh, Russian verbs can have four adjectival participles, two adverbial participles, and one infinitive form. As you can see, Russian verb system is not a complex one, but it has its interesting features. I hope you will like to study Russian verbs, and our next grammar lessons will be focused on this topic. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and visit my website to get more information about the Russian language and private Russian lessons on Skype with me. Thank you, have a nice day, see you at the next video!